Hello, Studio Artists Online. I'm your host, Mr. Greenland. I'm coming to you live from a, a desk here. So I'm going to do kind of a top-down display and demonstrate how to do one of your first formative projects, and that is the uh, grading or shading scale. Okay? So you're going to want a clean piece of paper, and we're going to make a nice, long, wide, rectangle. You don't have to use a ruler for this, but one of the things I'm going to do, and again this is optional too, I'm going to draw this with a nice thick black line using a marker. That's just going to make it easier for you to see. And we'll just cap that off there. Okay, so now one of the first skills we're going to learn in, in this class is how to shade. And shading helps us take a two-dimensional shape, so like this rectangle is a two-dimensional shape, and it creates a form using different values. Now to get a good range of values, we're going to divide this in half. and in half again and then in half again okay so you're going to wind up with one two three four five six seven eight sections and then what we're going to do is we're going to go from dark sorry I gotta write upside down and I'm actually so dark to light now this this one over here the lightest value that you can make is just pure white so you just leave it alone okay and so what we want to do is we want to have eight distinct levels. And so the way I like to start with this is this is going to be my dark. This one's going to be my medium. And this is going to be my light. Okay. And I'm going to start off with the dark. Now when I'm shading, we want to try and use kind of the tip or maybe the side of the pencil. So if you use the side of the pencil, like this. Now we're not going to smudge. Okay, we're trying to shade with just using the pencil tip. And so what I'm doing is as I'm shading here, as I start in the shadow area, and I move out like this, and I just make little circles. So it kind of makes little clouds. And I push kind of light and then gradually I'm going to get darker and darker. Now since this is the darkest area I'm going to make this as dark as possible. And I kind of just work from an area getting at the right value and then I work from that darker area outward to kind of get it to spread gradually and what this does is it helps us develop the fine motor control to to shade however we want And if you're doing it right, you shouldn't have any lines. There should be no visible lines when you're shading. It should be one solid value. Okay, so that's a pretty good dark tone. And now I'm going to do a medium tone. And so again, I'm going to start 
But this time I'm going to start with a really light touch and I'm just going to make little circles. Alright, so now I have light tone, dark tone, medium tone. And what I want to try and do is create um, a couple of lighter values and then three different darker values. And I always find it's easier to kind of like do one in the middle and then do the ones next to it. Because it gives me a reference for like how much it should change in between these things. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just continue shading. I'm going to start with this one. Now once you get over to this area, this one is as light as you can hold the pencil. You can see I'm holding the pencil really far back. That way it doesn't allow me to get very much pressure. Okay, and now we're going to try and squeeze one in between here. And sometimes it's easier to think about like well, this edge. It needs to be darker, so I'm going to start on that edge. And then I'm going to bring that value across. And then make it so it's lighter there. And then kind of fill it in so it's nice and even. So medium, light gray. And again, I just keep looping little ovals over and over and over again. Okay, so here we have our value from dark to medium to light. You're gonna snap a picture of this and turn it in, okay? One of the other things that you're gonna practice to do, and this is an application of this, and that's gonna be a shaded sphere. And uh, I'll show you that in the next in the next video. But you're going to want something like this, like a roll of tape or something that you can trace that's circular so that you can make a sphere. But that's for the next one. And you're going to apply this scale to a shape so you can see how it works. It's pretty cool. And it looks really awesome. All right. Thank you for that. Work hard. And I can't wait to see those awesome value scales.